Hi everyone, this is Dawn, and this is part 18 of our retreat. Um, if you've done the previous one, parts, wonderful. If not, you just and you just want to begin here, no problem. <laughs> um, this week in our retreat, we move into reflecting on Jesus being tempted in the desert. Um, and so I will link to this uh, a handout, and it has two parts. The top part has some like just thoughts on what we're reflecting on this week, and the bottom part has a prayer that you could use as you go through this. Um, neither part is critical. This is really um, a journey you and God are on, and so use it how you see fit best. You best see fit. <laughs> um, so this week... Um, we are all pretty familiar with the story of Jesus being tempted in the desert. You know, I can, when I hear it, I have like this image that pops into my brain. And so we sort of know it. Um, I would suggest before you uh, go any further or before you begin this week that you actually go and look up the, look up the account in the Bible. And um, if you're doing this online, I've linked the two stories here. You can just click on it and you'll... It'll get you there. They're in um, Luke chapter 4, verses 1 through 15, and Mark chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. The Mark version is very short, so the Luke version has a little more um, imagery to it. So I'd say to go and become familiar enough with it that you remember the details, um, and... And so that you have that grasp, but don't get stuck to the text. Um, once you read through it, maybe a couple times, set that aside and let the story of the temptation um, allow yourself to contemplate the mystery of Jesus being tempted, allowing God to help you enter into its meaning. You might use your imagination um, to actually picture the scene and, and you could put yourself as a witness to what's happening um, and pay attention to as you reenact it in your imagination, uh, pay attention to what um, touches you, what moves you with admiration or love, and just um, how you react to it. All of those things God uses to help you um, to understand more, to become that much closer to God himself. So during the week, you might uh, also spend some time asking yourself, when am I tempted? Or, and, or, <laughs> what is the inner, the inner battle that goes on inside me when I'm tempted? What's it really about? Um, and so temptation comes in lots of forms. We often think about being tempted by a piece of chocolate, but m more commonly that we don't, even recognizes temptation is temptation to power of one kind or another um, different things that feed you whether physically or emotionally or all of those things what is what tempts you and what's the battle that goes on inside you um, you know I was thinking about how the story of Jesus being tempted and without even really realizing it I always I guess I've always just assumed well, Jesus was God, so he didn't really feel the temptations the way that I feel and I'm tempted. And so he could just use his superpower like he was a, an Avenger or something. <laughs> but that's not true because Jesus was fully human. So, he, you know, not eating for 40 days, he would be pretty hungry. And that temptation to just turn that stone into a loaf of bread, well, okay, I can see the value in that. But Jesus was able to see deeper, to understand deeper. You know, this um, gospel comes right after Jesus being baptized and hearing the voice of his heavenly Father um, saying, I love you, and, so, and calling him beloved. And so because he knew who he was, he was able to face these temptations. And I think that's a real important point for each one of us that until we understand that we are God's beloved, the temptations are so much harder that we struggle with that even more so. That's just my random thought for today, I guess. <laughs> um, so 
um, back to how this might work for this week. Um, like other parts of this retreat, instead of just doing one sit down during the week and getting it all done at once, this is designed to sort of run in the background of your life and and then have some concentrated, small concentrated points throughout the week. Um, so you might get out of bed in the morning and focus your intention on, um, on what the week is about. And so the week is about Jesus being tempted. Just remind yourself that of that in the morning. Maybe go through the, the story, just quickly let it play through your mind. And then you let it sort of sit in the background of your life as you go about getting ready. And, you know, if you have children you're helping out or whatever is happening, it stays there. Um, but it's not all you focus on. And so then, um, uh, I'm just looking at my notes, sorry. <laughs> um, so as you go about your day, when you encounter um, some temptation of yourself, when you realize you're being tempted, you can pull that back to what uh, the story of Jesus. And, and so because it's playing in the background of your mind, it's more accessible. Throughout the day, let the story um, not, don't reflect just on the actual temptations, but be able to see the mystery acted out in your own life. So you know about Jesus being tempted. How is your being tempted related to this? If Jesus was really, relate, really tempted in every way that we are, we can learn more about Jesus and his heart and personality by letting the temptations that come up in our own life um, give some shape and color to our understanding of who Jesus was. So that every time we feel tempted to be angry or cynical or manipulative or non-cooperative or dishonest or unjust or indifferent or just plain selfish, we can learn that much more about Jesus. Um, and then finally, when you go to bed, take a brief moment to express your gratitude to God for what you have been feeling and asking for what you desire. If you find it helpful, if you're stuck and you, you're not getting anywhere it feels like to you, uh, use the prayer that's at the bottom of this that will sort of plant some ideas in you as you pray this um, and then go from there. And so this week, as you're tempted, may you remember Jesus and his temptation and be drawn that much closer to the heart of God. Have a good week.